This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is from Monday, September 8th. I'm James Spann. Uh, no big changes uh, in the short term, but later this week, a cold front due in here, and that's going to bring some changes. Let's go in there and take a look this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view, and it's the same thing. We have this flat ridge down here. Uh, but in coming days, you'll see a nice trough evolving up north. That's going to pull down the coolest air so far this season, if you consider this meteorological fall. And we'll feel a taste of that by the upcoming weekend. In fact, if you look at the temperatures over North America, see those 30s up in the far upper part of the screen over western Canada. And that is just waiting to be pulled southward. And I think most people say, bring it on. Uh, pretty quiet over the eastern half of the nation. I do see frost advisories for parts of northern Maine. The big story is in the southwest. Moisture from former Pacific Hurricane Norbert uh, producing the threat of flash flooding across most of Arizona and some of the adjacent states. See a few counties up there even early this morning under flash flood warnings. Now, with our uh, system that's going to bring the cool air, we're going to have some severe weather up north tomorrow. There's a risk of severe weather from Kansas up to near Milwaukee and Green Bay. And this could be a fairly stout little severe weather threat. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, the risk includes cities like St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Detroit. And again, uh, there could be some storms up there that produce a lot of wind, and there could be some uh, uh, very significant severe weather reports. But again, down here, uh, no issues the next few days other than the typical you know air mass storms we have this is the overall rain for the next five days through saturday morning suggesting rain amounts of about one half inch and again the afternoon storms should be pretty widely spaced today through wednesday but we'll see that organized band of storms late thursday or thursday night with a cold front tropical weather again this is when things ought to be peaking out here in the atlantic and it's just so quiet uh, the only uh, system on the board to watch is a new wave coming off the coast of Africa. Uh, some chance this gets its act together, but like other systems, it'll be fighting dry air out in the deep tropics. It's going to move west-northwest. There's the modeling. And again, traditionally, once these things get above 20 north, they want to recurve. Uh, they don't always do that, but many times they will. And, you know, it's going to be getting close to that in five days. And again, we don't even know if it's going to develop or survive. Uh, the models want to ramp it up to tropical storm strength, but quite frankly, every little wave this season, they've done that, and, and hardly any have developed. But again, just something to watch. All right, model fans, let's take a look here. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. You can see the 588 ridge across the deep south, and uh, down below that, eh, you know, very typical early September weather. Uh, highs 88 to 91, partly sunny, few storms. Here's the high-res HER model, valid for a 3 o'clock today. Uh, kind of suggesting maybe the mo more numerous storms uh, near I-20 and 59. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. This model has done very well, by the way, this summer with these things. But clearly, it's not going to rain in a lot of places, but a few spots could get a you know decent downpour for a brief time. This is tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, maybe a storm in a few spots. They'll be widely spaced. Of course, the big story, it's that 998 millibar low getting its act together. Uh, in the far southwestern corner of Kansas, and uh, very cold air over Canada. Thickness values drop below 5,400 meters up there. And we'll be watching that coming south. This is Wednesday, and you can see how the jet stream is dropping south. Along with the cold air, very, very deep surface low near Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, Wednesday. And you can see why there's concern for severe weather south and east of that in advance of the cold front. And that 540 line dipping down into the Dakotas. Coldest air so far this, uh, this meteorological fall. Thursday, cold air pushes deeper. It's at 1033 high coming down over the border. The cold front at midday Thursday is uh, approaching Memphis. The surface low, by the way, is way up in Canada. So, you know, severe weather should not be a problem here with that. But inevitably, that uh, band of showers and storms should push through here Thursday evening or Thursday night. And this is Friday. And here's the deal. You know, we, we've got that nice push of cool air coming in. But that 588 ridge just wants to hold on, on the GFS instead of a full latitude trough that would just you know bring it down here in full force. It's going to have to seep in here because of the ridge. Uh, this is the surface chart. The cold front at midday Friday should be well below Montgomery. So Friday should be a dry day. 
the sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. The humidity values come down uh, in a significant way. Uh, these are the temperature anomalies for Friday, and you can see really cool air coming down across the, the Great Plains. I mean, no, those numbers are very cool for uh, this time of the year. But it should feel pretty good. Uh, you know, the high here dropping in the low and mid-80s uh, with a nice north breeze. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. It'll be a much, much more comfortable day compared to last weekend, but not as cool as it could be because the ridge is trying to hold. So I would say highs on Saturday in the low 80s. Uh, the low down around 60, cooler pockets probably going in the 50s, and the same thing on Sunday. So a much more comfortable weekend for uh, you know college football. Uh, you won't need jackets or sweaters or anything like that, and you know low 80s and lows around 60, but the humidity will be lower, and again uh, temperatures below average for mid-September. And there's Monday of next week. We stay in the uh, dry air. We'll check the end of the forecast. September 23rd heights about where they should be, and that looks uh, relatively quiet. Here's a look at the temperatures coming off the ensembles. And again, you can see that big drop-off. Uh, it's got the high dropping to 79 on Saturday. And this could be right. This is, I've done a pretty good job of handling these air masses several days in advance this season. And uh, it's hinting a low of 58 for Birmingham Saturday morning. It'll be around 60. Some of the cooler pockets could easily do that. And really, next week, temperatures look uh, very comfortable. So uh, we get it past a few more days here, and uh, things are going to be looking a lot, lot better. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock today, if you can't catch us this evening, the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.